Good morning. I am Dr. K. S. R. Radhika, working as associate professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, S. R. K. R. Engineering College, Bhimbar. In the subject embedded systems, now we are going to discuss the topic direct memory access. Direct memory access. It is a circuitry. It is a circuitry. Read data from I/O devices, I/O devices or memory. Write it into memory or I/O devices without software assistance. Thus, without involvement of the microprocessor. Direct memory access. Use of it can get the data into and out of the systems quickly. Direct memory access is a circuitry that can read data from the I/O devices such as serial ports or network and write it into memory or read from memory and write to an I/O device without software assistance and associated overhead. The problems are the DMA should not try to drive those signals at the same time as microprocessor is try trying to drive them. This is solved by the next block diagram. This is the architecture of the system with the DMA. If you see in this diagram, the transfer of data, this is used for the transfer of data from the I/O device to the RAM. So here in this diagram, you can see the microprocessor, the DMA, the RAM and the I/O 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 devices. So how this how this works? That is the transfer of data from the I/O device to the RAM. First of all, the the DMA assert uh, asserts the DMA request signal. So asserts next the next one is the asserts the bus request signal. So if you see this bus request signal is asserted. When the microprocessor, uh, this bus request is sent to the microprocessor, and when this micro, when the microprocessor is ready to give up the bus, that is, the microprocessor will not execute any instructions for short period of time. Then, the then the microprocessor asserts the, it asserts the bus acknowledgement to the DMA. So that means the bus is given to the DMA. DMA circuitry places the address into which the data is to be written on the address bus. So the DMA, the DMA now puts the address here. So I, I puts the address and then it 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 asserts the DMA DMA this acknowledgement signal. It asserts once the DMA circuitry places the address onto the address bus, it asserts the DMA acknowledgement signal. So once the DMA acknowledgement signal is asserted, next one is it asserts the write to the RAM. Assert, asserts the write signal, write signal to the RAM. The IO places the data, the IO places the data on the data bus to the RAM. The IO places the data on the uh, the IVO places the data on data bus to the RAM, completing the write, write cycle. After the data has been written, the DMA circuitry releases the DMA request. The DMA acknowledgement. Price states the address bus releases the bus request. So that is this DMA, DMA acknowledgement is released and also the bus request is also bus request is also released. The microprocessor releases the bus acknowledgement and continues executing its own instructions. So this is how the data is transferred from the I/O device to the RAM using the DMA with the DMA. So this is how the data is transferred from the DMA to the RAM. The I/O device 
sends the DMA request signal first to the DMA and then the DMA sends bus request to the microprocessor and the microprocessor sends bus acknowledgement to DMA. The DMA places the address and then and raises the DMA acknowledgement back to the I.O. device. Write signal raised to the RAM and then finally the I.O. device puts the data on the data bus for the RAM. Then the write, write cycle is completed. So this is the timing diagram for the uh, timing diagram for the DMA. So in this diagram, you can see the DMA request. First of all, it is accepted. It is accepted first, and then the here the cross hatching in the address and the data bus buses indicates. Those buses may be driven by other components. The arrows indicates which edges cause which subsequent edges. So how, how does this DMA knows when it should transfer a second byte? The DMA can be edge triggered or it can be level triggered. So Edge triggered means it transfers the data, uh, transfers a byte whenever it sees a rising edge on DMA request. DMA uh, can be level triggered also. It, the, uh, this in the level triggered, it transfers the byte as long as the DMA request remains high. The IO device can hold DMA request high as long as these are more bytes. There are more bytes. So if you observe, first of all, here in this diagram, the DMA, the DMA request, first of all, it is accepted. Once the DMA request is accepted, then the bus request is accepted. So the bus request, once the bus request is once we got the bus acknowledgement from the microprocessor, then uh, then the bus acknowledgement, uh, DMA acknowledgement is accepted. So that is we got. The permission from the microprocessor. Once the per we got the permission from the microprocessor, the data is put on the, the data bus and also the address is put on by the DMA on the address bus. So then the data is, so after that, once the data is put on the data bus, then the RAM reads the, uh, uh, writes the data, the, it writes the data and finally the transfer completes. So this is how a DMA works for the transfer of data from the devices to from the IO device to the RAM. Thank you.